Hi, this is Julie the Beataholic, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use chain tags to professionally finish your necklaces. So these are great. You can see what they look like, and you'll often see them on uh, manufactured jewelry, which is nice because they really do lend a professional look. So you've got your chain tags, and I have quite a few spread out here just to illustrate that when you purchase these, you usually get a lot. Same things with the spring ring I'm going to be using. You usually get a lot of these too. So it's a very cost-effective way of making chain necklaces if you're perhaps selling your jewelry or giving it away as gifts, because all you then have to buy are some jump rings and then whatever chain you want to use. So let me show you how to go about using these. So I have two feet of Rolo chain. I've got two jump rings. I'll need a spring ring and a chain tag. I've got two pairs of chain nose pliers. You see I've got different brands, whatever you want to use for your chain nose pliers. These are open jump rings, so the slit needs to be at the top. And just twist them open. So you will want to make sure that whatever chain you're using, you can get a jump ring through. That's probably going to be about 95% of the chains on the market. It's rare that you come across one that you can't. You just slide the end link through and then you also slide on the chain tag through the small hole and then go ahead and close up that jump ring. Now on the other side you're going to open the jump ring again, slide it on to that end chain link and then the spring ring as well and then close it back up. And then let me show you what this looks like. So I'm going to open that spring ring, slide the little chain tag into it, and then we've very nicely, cleanly, and professionally finished our necklace. Couple quick advantages to a chain tag and finishing a style like this versus buying pre-made chain necklaces. One is usually quite cost effective because all you're really left with buying is the chain because you do get a lot of these. So their cost per piece is pretty low. You can cut your chain to whatever length you want. Whereas with a, a pre-made chain necklace, you kind of have to go with whatever the pre-made length is, whether it's 16, 18, 24 inches. And finally, you can use whatever chain you want. Usually pre-made chain necklaces use like a, a thin cable chain, you know, you might see Rolo ones as well, but you have a lot more choices when you're buying chain in bulk and then just finishing the necklace yourself. So those are just a couple advantages. So you can find all of these supplies and a bunch of different chain styles and all different finishes at beataholic.com.